Hi, I'm Richard Storbeck of NashvilleGuitarStore.com and here I've got the 12-string guitar, which is actually the first guitar I ever learned on and the first guitar I ever received. And a lot of people would say, as a first guitar, your 12-string guitar should not be the instrument of choice. Well, I disagree with that. I think when choosing an instrument for yourself, you should choose an instrument that makes you inspired to want to play. And if that calls for a 12-string guitar, then make it a 12-string guitar. If that calls for a standard six, make it a standard six. Electric, acoustic, nylon, it should be your choice, not anybody else's. Having said that, you think 12-string guitar should be really, really difficult. In some ways it is, in some ways it could be a lot easier. It just fills up the sound. All you need to know is five basic chords when it comes to guitar to begin with. You know, uh, you just need to know E. C, and finally G. With those five chords in mind, you can play just about anything you want to, and you can strum it and it sounds full. You can be your own one-man band if you want to. And then you can start choosing your picking patterns, whether it's just a standard strumming. Or if it's individual, picking like what you would hear Peter Buck of R.E.M. doing. The choice is really up to you. And then you can even add a capo to it and get even more creative and do the same thing. I find playing the 12-string guitar just gives me a better experience as a guitar player than anything else. I love it, and I hope you do too. And if you can't necessarily get an electric 12-string, get yourself an acoustic 12-string. The approach is exactly the same way, and I'll show you that right now. Strings are definitely a fun way to play guitar, especially if you're playing by yourself. Some guitars are different than others. Like the Rickenbacker, you've got the low string and then the high string. Whereas on most 12 string guitars, you've got the high string, which is the octave, and then the lower string preceding that. With the exception of the first and second string, which are unison. So other than that, they play just exactly the same. And depending on your picking pattern, you might get the high part a little bit earlier than the lower part. And it's really up to the instrument. I mean, this one happens to have the high side first in a lot of ways if you're doing a downward motion. recommend anybody play a 12 string guitar. Just give it a go. Don't let anybody tell you that it's too hard to play. You shouldn't start on a 12 string. Let it be your own decision. If a 12 string is what you want to play, get yourself a 12 string. One of the things that a 12 string guitar does is it adds a new flavor, new dimension to anybody's playing. Even though an excerpt that you hear might be played on a six string guitar, try your hand at a 12 string guitar. You may surprise yourself and you may want to play that even more. One of the things I like to play on a 12 string electric guitar is a compressor. This will add the 60s sound and add a new spike and flavor to your playing and I highly recommend it. Great compressor pedals do the trick as far as electric 12 string guitars go. Here's an example.
Once again, I'm Richard Storbeck of NashvilleGuitarStore.com.